Five panellists, five topical issues, no holds barred. For me, it's not knowledge that's lacking. It's that greed, it's that mentality where you feel you deserve to take your own and take it infinitely and let everybody else just manage however they will manage. We're almost becoming hardwired to try and cheat. I would, you know, suggest that we begin to hold our leaders accountable. There was a time in this country when yes. things actually work. I don't think that any organization should be above the law. And I think one of the challenges we have in this country is about governance across the board. Well, well, what I'm saying is that it doesn't really affect us in Nigeria. I don't know what we can do if the system is already corrupted. We've been warned as a continent of the influx of the Chinese. If you don't repay your debt, they will just colonize you. There is a first time for everything. Welcome to The Advocate on Plus TV Africa. I'll be talking on the fundamentals of rape culture. The issue of rape in recent times has been the top discussion in the news and on social media. I think it's time we discuss what and how to solve this issue holistically. Data on sexually violent individuals show that most direct their acts at individuals whom they already know. Alcohol has been shown to play a critical role in certain types of sexual assault, as have some other drugs. We also have cases um, where rape or gang rape is a test of readiness and loyalty to becoming a member of court groups. There is evidence to suggest that sexual violence is also a learned behavior in some adults, particularly in regard um, to child sexual abuse. Studies on sexually abused boys have shown that around one in five continue in later life to molest children themselves. Childhood environments that are physically violent, emotionally unsupportive, and characterized by competition for scarce resources have been associated with sexual violence. Sexually aggressive behavior in young men, for instance, has been linked to witnessing family violence and having emotionally distant and uncaring fathers. Men raised in families with strongly patriarchal structures are also more likely to become violent, to rape and use sexual coercion against women, as well as to abuse their intimate partners than men raised in homes that are more gender balanced and friendly. Sexually, violent men have been shown to be more likely to consider their victims as responsible for the rape and are less knowledgeable about um, the impact of rape on their victims, a state of mind termed objectification. Such men may misread cues given out by women in social situations and may lack the inhibitions that act to suppress association between sex and aggression. Another factor involving social relationships is a family response that blames women without punishing men, concentrating instead on restoring lost family honor. Such a response creates an environment in which rape can occur with impunity. The research on convicted rapists has found several important motivational factors in the sexual aggression of males. Those motivational factors repeatedly implicated are having anger at women and having the need to control or dominate them. Additionally, as reported by several rapists, they are attracted by what women wear. Now, how do we begin to solve these issues? Because I believe that we need to begin to look at the root cause of the issue rather than saying someone has been raped, what is the law saying, why exactly would a young man think that having a woman forcefully, or even a child, is the way to do. Wow. I mean, thank you for that breakdown. Libros, did you want to come in? I, I, no, I want... no. You... <laughs> thank you for that breakdown. I mean, I, but somehow I feel that it still takes me back to, we still need to establish fundamentally that rape is wrong first and foremost. Mm -hmm. There's no condition under which you are permitted to take sex by force. You know, because I feel until we block all those excuses people give, whether it's to talk about what women are wearing, whether it's to talk about whether they were unsure. Let's establish first and foremost that taking sex without consent is wrong. And so under no circumstances mm -hmm. will you be let off the hook. Once that is a clear message being sent out, I think everything else will fall into place. And maybe it comes back to Libros' point that he keeps making. There has to be some punishment that is clearly being meted out mm -hmm. consistently. People come and stand for it inflexibly. So everybody gets that message, almost like the ABC. Of, of what is right. So it brings us back to the same issue of society um, pressure. 
a lady is raped. Um, the, you know, in, we live in a patriarchal society where, you know, the man dominates. You have um, daughters, you have sons. The daughter will always go to the kitchen while the sons who watch football are allowed to sit in the sitting room, you know. And, and so the lady is seen as um, the lesser being while the man is up there. And so the man also is given the impression that he can control you know, he can have everything he wants. Mm. And then when this thing happens, rather than, you know, allow the consequences of such behavior to immediately, you know, take Follow. place, activate the instrumentalities of the law, what we do is there's pressure. Oh, you know, don't bring the name of the family into disrepute. Mm -hmm. Let's see how we can cover it. Oh, you want to you want to allow the devil to use you to bring down the pastor. The police will say, you know, why don't you just allow collect money from the man? After all, you're adult. Even you yourself, the way you were dressed. Oh, you, why yeah, will you, you dress, enjoy him. Uh, or uh, why will you visit a man at that ungodly hour? You know, so with all of these things, the moment there are consequences for action, immediately it happens. There will be no excuse, mm. irrespective of I'm who saying. is involved. And then lastly, the lastly, this may sound very unpopular. Mm -hmm. The idea of having brothers is very necessary. If you go to Europe, they are making a kill from brothers. We also need society. Police should not be hounding all these club guests. But, but you are us, you're, you're speaking through two sides of you. No, 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 no. Because you're you... creating the excuse now. No, because no, you seem no, to be suggesting no, that the brothels will ease the rape. I, I, yes, of course not. You wait, shouldn't see, rape. I'm like saying that. No, let me. Please I'm not, finish and I'll make my point. It's not an excuse. It sounds like an excuse. What I'm telling you is there are people who willingly want to participate in such a trade. You know, also they are human beings. It's their right allow them, provide an environment for them also where they can be taken care of and where they also can make money safety. and ensure their I'm safety and government finish. will tax them. It's a job. Okay. But a situation where, where because you think it is uh, where they are also hounded. We're talking about rape. Do you know how many of such guests police rape mm -hmm. almost every evening? They rape them. Libras, and, Libras, no, because you I'm say... I'm to wait for you to land, but I have to come in. Because I'm you sorry, say I, it is not Libras, a, look, let me, a let job. Me, no, no, no. It no. is in I'm not, I'm not even talking about the morality okay. of brothels now. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you that there is no causal link between brothels and rape. It, 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 it is. Coming. It is. Simply, it's like saying to somebody, oh, if your house is on display, this is back to the same thing of where, how you dress. You're saying that if you make available prostitutes for me to have sex with, then I'll stop raping women. You're mm -hmm. a rapist. You need to control your lust. It's like saying to a thief, if you see a a house, if you don't put the wall up, I have the right to go in and steal it. Are you not no, dealing? No, 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 no. Let's okay. deal with the fundamentals. Okay, I want to state this no. again without equivocation. Okay, no. Anybody okay, who no. rapes has a problem. Okay, they have a problem. Okay, it has nothing to do with whether you provide them with an but enabling environment problem. or not. Okay, they have a fundamental problem. She they need to rein in their lust. Okay, no. Period. I'm not even interested in anything it. else. She graduated it. You are creating reasons. a back door. You're giving an no. excuse for people. She graduated. She gave various <laughs> reasons why this thing happens. Mm -hmm. and I'm also telling you that this also in. can so be we'll one see. way one of the you solutions. can check it. Okay. Don't, don't close the, the door. I'm, I'm closing it's, the door on that because it's, it's not no, about saying. Say you can't. Saying, 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 okay. you can't. Yes, Hi. I want to quickly add that in engineering we say um, you want to solve problem for, from first principle. We need to go back to the root cause of this thing, and I'll take you back to the family. However, I want to call our attention that you know that there are certain cultures in this country where uh, they offer their wives to their uh, guests when they come. Now, imagine somebody like that, what his thinking would be for a woman. They see a woman as an object. Do you understand? Yeah. So if you don't do a reset for those kind of cultural expunge and reorientate these people, then it would be mm -hmm. wrong if you just you know, met for them punishment that they don't understand. In my own culture, you know, my, my friend would offer his wife for me free of charge and it's okay. Why should you think, why should, why should you hold me liable for rape? Okay. So it's, it's, it's a mindset that has to be reset from the family. Hi, Sergio. Thank you very much for your point because it's actually part of the things I wanted to say that there are two critical components when it comes to the issue of rape. The first culture, we need to stop objectifying women and in totality as objects or as things that we can, men can control. That's the first step. Second of all, we need to stop telling young girls, telling women in total that 
you know, it's there's something you did that made this happen to you. They are the victims. They are not the cause of their misfortune. We need to get to that point and where they feel no shame or no stigma in coming out, knowing that they were not the cause of what befell on them. And like thirdly, we need to have consequences. I'm very happy for the. I think the VAP Act is undergoing a public hearing today in Bauchi State, and we're just hoping that it will be domesticated in the 36 states of the Federation. The VAP Act um, prescribes life imprisonment for all rapists once convicted, and that's like a milestone when it comes to Nigerian legislation. Okay, so let's look at it holistically. How yeah. do we solve it from the family angle to the law angle to society, um, society angle to whatever they need More to be provided angle. with? You know, just let's look at it's with a broad view, basically. Whereas advocacy are a way of holding up our collective dreams and aspirations, without your contribution, that picture is incomplete. On the danger of laboring, Debbie Benson says, brilliant. Laboring and self-fulfilling prophecy, words are powerful tools which greatly affect social identity. James Adams agreed with Chuka on last week's advocacy and says, my boss, you're really saying something. Festus O says, following your program, The Advocate, I'm thoroughly enjoying this debate, and I sincerely ap appreciate your point on the Pan-Africanism presentation. Thank you, Debbie, James, and Festus for sharing your thoughts with us. Keep the conversation coming on our social media platform, on Facebook, Plus TV Africa, has hashtag The Advocate NG, and on Twitter and Instagram, at Plus TV Africa, hashtag The Advocate NG. To catch up with previous broadcasts, go to plustvafrica.com forward slash The Advocate. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Plus TV Africa. After the break, Sedu looks inward to find a way forward. He says it's time to reflect. I can't wait to hear that.